before I get started with this video, I just need to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for all of the kind comments that you've left on my daughter does my makeup tag and on my last concealer video that I did. I'll link those below and up in the card. I think it's up there. Um, but I'm just kind of overwhelmed at how great all of my subscribers and viewers are. I just, you're all so wonderful. I feel like I just really lucked out with the community that I have here and not just here on my social media too. I just feel like the messages that you guys send me and the interaction that we have in all the places, whether it's my blog, my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, here, everywhere. I just, I love the engagement and I just feel like I have the best subscribers and viewers ever. So thank you all so much because it, actually it's not really just those two videos. It's every video. I feel like you guys are so great. I just wanted to get that out right here in the start. I didn't want to save it for the end and I didn't want to forget to do it. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And now we can get started with this powder video because I know some of you have really been wanting me to talk about some powder so we can get started. Okay, this is gonna be the first of two powder videos. And the reason why I split it up is because I have really, really loved Laura Mercier Translucent Powder as a setting powder for 15 or 20 years. And it seems like I deviate, I try other things, and then I always end up going back to it. And I've recently found a couple of really great alternatives and they're great alternatives for different reasons. I've also found some different setting powders that are absolutely fantastic and they range from higher end to lower end, but I felt like these two were just very specific alternatives for Laura Mercier setting powder. So I'm gonna do a whole separate video on really good setting powders for oily combination skin and skin that is maturing that is also oily combination skin, but this video is going to be just the two great alternatives or Laura Mercier translucent setting powder dupes that I found. I feel like there is a reason why people like the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, whether they have dry or oily skin. This is what it looks like. It is $38 for one ounce of product. So that's why I'm gonna give you a low-end alternative. It does contain talc, so I'm going to give you an alternative that doesn't have talc. So it does have this sifter in the top. I'm trying to show you without dumping it out all over the place. And it's translucent, but it does have this kind of beige tint to I'm it. I'm going to swipe it on the back of my hand, and it just really blends into the skin. It's really just a great, silky, beautiful powder. I feel like this is a great powder for oily skin or dry skin people because it sets makeup really well, it locks it in, but it doesn't make the skin look too dry if you have dry skin. It doesn't make mature skin look too textured. And for oily skin people, it's not a truly mattifying powder, but it really does lock everything in and stop the shine for a good amount of time. You know, it just makes the skin look really nice without looking cakey or built up. It just makes the skin look beautiful. And all of these powders just set the makeup beautifully, lock it in place, keep it shine free a decent amount of time before I have to touch up. And they don't alter the way my makeup looks. I can use them under the eyes as well. They kind of almost give a blurring effect to the skin too that just makes it really nice and soft and lovely looking. So that's why I just think, you know, the, any of these would work. So the first powder I'm gonna talk about is the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. And the reason why I chose the matte instead of the perfect setting powder is because the perfect setting powder had some illuminating properties to it which i find if i'm going for a setting powder i really don't want a lot of illumination because it doesn't really work for my t-zone this is the powder that doesn't contain talc so if you have a talc sensitivity some people just don't like it i don't have a problem with it but this is a great dupe without talc. I just find the consistency to be very, very similar. It also contains vitamins and nutrients and antioxidants and things that are essential for the skin. I like that about Cover FX. They do put that in a lot of their products. And there are three shades in the Cover FX powder. There's light, medium, and dark, I believe. And I have the shade light. 
And I think that would work for anyone, probably up to maybe, if you're familiar with MAC shades, NC30, maybe NC35. And what I love about this powder is the packaging. I think it is absolutely ingenious. You have this little flip top on the inside that has stopper holes in here that help the powder not leak out. And you shake your powder out, get whatever you want and then you can cover this back up and it's just wonderful for travel. If you're someone like me who actually travels somewhat frequently, I, you know, I just really appreciate this. Now, the bad thing about this is that it is $35 for 0.35 ounces, which does break out to $100 for an ounce, but you use so very little to get such a great result. There's a reason why people love the Cover FX powders. They're just really, really good powders. So here are the containers next to each other so you can see the size comparison. It's not that much smaller than the Laura Mercier, but you can see, you know, an ounce versus 0.35. That is quite a little bit of difference, but again, a little goes a long way. And the result is beautiful, but I love this powder. I'm gonna show you at the end, all three next to each other and just what they look like. See here on the back of my hand, it just, again, same thing. It just blends in beautifully. You can't even see it. I barely even rubbed it in. With all of these, I can set them under my eyes. I can put them on my face and they just work beautifully as setting powders. So that is the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. My light is starting to go down. I'm trying to get this video in without losing my entire light. So the next powder is the drugstore option and I think this is a fabulous powder. I am just sorry that I didn't discover this years ago. This is the Boots number no. seven powder. And you know, I think there's some fingerprints on there, but I love the container. It's just super cool looking to me. This powder is roughly $12.99 for about 0.7 ounces of product, which comes out to $18.56 for one ounce. I think that's pretty good for such a fabulous powder. So again, there's no alteration in color of my makeup. I can use it to set my under eyes. I can use it all over the face. It just gives a soft effect to the face. It sets my makeup beautifully. It took me a while to find this. I think I got it at either Ulta or Target. I can't remember. It's very finely milled, kind of light diffusing. Again, it gives a soft look to the face. And this is what it looks like in the container. So on the back of my hand, Again, it just rubs into the skin nicely. You can't even see it. And it just sets my makeup so well. And again, I don't have to touch up for a long time. I love the way they have a slight tint to them so they don't give your makeup that white cast that lasts a little bit and they just meld into the skin beautifully. Now this does have talc, but it also has vitamin E, B5, and hyaluronic acid, which I think is a great buy for what you get for this powder and you actually get a decent amount. It's right in between what you get for the other two. And for a drugstore powder, I, I don't think you can go wrong. I am linking both of these below. I do have an Ebates link below. I always shop through Ebates. I've been shopping through Ebates for probably seven or eight years, if that's how long they've been around. I feel like I've been shopping through Ebates for as long as I can remember, but before I buy anything, I buy it through Ebates. So if you're not signed up, sign up first if you're gonna buy it online, that is, because I just feel like you save money that way. It's free money, and you don't have to do anything. Once you sign up, you just shop and make sure that it's activated at the top of your browser. It's so easy and you just get a check four times a year. So there's the three on my arm right there and you can see they look pretty similar with just me roughly setting them down on my arm and then I swiped them with my finger. Again, they look very similarly. There's no chalkiness at all. And then I swipe them in with my brush. They just disappear. I'm also showing you a flash picture. There's no flashback with these and that just really clinches it. If you can get a great powder with little to no flashback that looks beautiful on the skin, it's gold. It is gold. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have oily combination skin, if you have aging or maturing skin over 40, however old you are, 
You just want your skin to look good and your makeup to be set without looking powdery or cakey or anything like that. And I've been using Laura Mercier powder for years, like I said. I think it's wonderful. And I just happened to find these two powders and they were really great and they just reminded me so much of the Laura Mercier powder that I love. And maybe you do have a sensitivity to talc or maybe you want a less expensive option to the Laura Mercier. But hopefully this gives you two options to choose from that I just think are absolutely fabulous. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, and if you're not following me on my social media, I will link that below and put it on the screen as well. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. That helps me on YouTube get recommended more so that my channel can continue to grow. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.